everybody. I am Barrett Matthews of E2E Systems. I am pleased as punch to be here today. I am glad to talk to you all about action and productivity. You see, I have a company called E2E Systems. What does E2E Systems mean? E2E means employee to entrepreneur. We started this company so that we can help you all become entrepreneurs because I firmly believe that everyone has the capability and some of you have a good strong desire to be entrepreneurs. Well, I want to share a little bit with you today about what we do here and what I can do for you and how I got to this point. So what I want to do is share this with you right here. This is me. I'm Barrett Matthews. As I said, I'm a speaker. Um, as many of you know, many of you have heard me speak before. I have spoken to hundreds and thousands of people before about what we believe at E2E Systems being that you all can be entrepreneurs and we can show you how to get there and we help you to get there and overcome that mindset that keeps you locked in that employee mindset. We want to break you of those chains and get you where you want to be. That's what we do at E2E Systems because I don't think any of you want to stay in that rut that you're in. We want to help you get out of that. Also, I'm an author. I wrote the book called Why Didn't You Get It Done? That's right. Why Didn't You Get It Done? I know some of you will feel your toes being stepped on as I say those words. Well, what, we, what that book does is it helps you get off your assets. As a matter of fact, the subtitle is a guide to helping you get off your assets because many of you ask yourself, Sometimes on a weekly, monthly, I don't hope, I hope it's not daily, but you ask yourself all the time, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I get it done? I wish I had done that. Someone else did it and I didn't do it. You have to stop asking yourself that and you have to take action and make those things happen for yourselves, for your family, for your community, those people who depend on you, those people who know that you have something inside you. You have to dig deep within you and pull that out. Well, this book that I wrote, why didn't you get it done can help you to do that. I am also a coach. I coach people in becoming entrepreneurs. I also coach those of you who are entrepreneurs to get your business to that level that you know it needs to get to. Some of you are struggling. Some of you need to go to that upper echelon, but you just don't know how. You have a little fear. You don't have what it takes to get there right now, but you know someone can help you if they just give you a little bit of push. Well, that's what we do at E2E Systems. So hopefully we can help you get there. Our company, as I said, is, in, is designed to take you from employee to, to entrepreneur. Our motto is moving you from working for a living to living your dreams. If you notice, it says moving you from working for a living to living your dreams. You have to move to make that happen. You can't stay where you are. Um, as someone once told me recently, you can't get to second with your foot still on first. You have to take your foot off first base in order to get to second. You can't stay in your comfort zone. You're going to have to do something that makes you uncomfortable. I always tell people, success and comfort don't mix. You have to decide to make yourself uncomfortable in order to get where you're gonna be. And also, success and convenience don't mix. Sometimes you're gonna have to drive a long distance. Sometimes you're going to have to fly a long distance like George Frazier's Power Networking Conference. Sometimes you're going to have to pay some money, make yourself uncomfortable. Sometimes it's not going to be convenient because you know you don't want to pay that bill or go to that concert or watch that movie on cable or something. But you know that you need to pay something in order to get something. Sometimes you just have to put out and sacrifice in order to get where you want to be. Well, we help you to do those things at E2E Systems. Now, action. Action is one of the things I talk about all the time. A lot of people call me the action guy because I'm always talking about people taking action. As a matter of fact, my credo to people, I always say, take action. Well, action doesn't just get you anywhere by itself. You have to have some productivity. You have to have a goal in mind when you're doing that action. If you're just acting with nowhere in sight, you're just going to be running around like a chicken with his head cut off. And if you notice, a chicken with his head cut off is still being very active. It's running around with no direction. Some of you are running your businesses like that. Some of you are running your life like that. 
Well, the thing is, you have to set a goal. You have to write it down. You have to put it somewhere where you can see it. You have to repeat that goal to yourself. And don't be afraid to tell other people what your goal is. Have someone to hold you accountable to make sure you're productive in getting where you want to go. So once you have that action and you pair it with the productivity, you can start to see success. Now, let's talk about success for a minute. You want to get to where you feel that goal has been achieved. That's wonderful. That can be considered success. To some of you, success is just moving in the right direction. And, and guess what? That can be considered a level of success. But once you reach success, and this is where it gets deep, you have to get to be one of those people that moves from success to significance. You see, a lot of us out there are living our lives thinking that we're successful. We may have the financial status. We may have the, the property status. We may have the name recognition status. But are you being significant? Is someone else's life changed because of what you have done to help them? You may not have had to do it directly. It may be indirectly. You may have started something that moved someone into doing something later on in their life, and you may not have, have, have ever even met them. But is your life significant? When you leave this earth, is someone going to say that you were successful in making money and reaching goals and dreams that you set? Or is someone going to say that person made a difference? Where will you be? Can you say where you will be? If not, you need to make a change in your life and take some action. As it says here at the bottom of the page, your life will not change without action. So if you're not one of those people who has taken action, what's holding you back? As I mentioned to you, my book is called Why Didn't You Get It Done? A Guide to Helping You Get Off Your Assets. The book alone is just a read. The book with action can change your life. Ask yourself, are you ready to change your life? If so, you need to get the book and read it cover to cover. And when you're done reading it cover to cover, put it down. Think for a second. Read it again. Take some notes when you read it again. Make sure that you are ingesting what you have learned. Make sure you've ingested enough so that you can Get out there, do the things you need to do to get successful, and then move forward to be significant. Because you guys have to understand, if you're on this feed here, you can make a difference. As a matter of fact, I want everyone to type into the feed, I can make a difference. Type in right now, I can make a difference, because you guys can do it right now. To collectively, think about it, all of us collectively can change some things. What are you going to do? Are you going to sit back and keep watching your computer screen? Or are you going to make a difference by getting up off your assets and doing something? So I wrote this book. I wrote this book for certain people. I wrote this book for people that constantly have to ask themselves, why didn't I get that done? Why didn't I do that? I knew I should have done it. Why didn't I do it? Is that you? If that's you, type in the feed, that's me. Type in, that's me. Don't be ashamed because that's the first step is admitting what the, what the problem is before we can fix it. So type in, that's me, if that, is, if that describes you. Do you start things and never finish? Is that you? Are you one of those people that starts things and never finish? There are a lot of people out there like that. Guess what? I used to be like that when I was younger. I used to be like that myself. I started things and didn't finish. But it took people to coach me. It took people to work with me and train me and hold me accountable. Everybody needs a coach. Heck, I have a coach who has a coach. So the thing is, what are you going to do? Are you going to start changing things in your life? Are you that person that's known, that's known as a great procrastinator? Are you the person that everybody says, oh, I know he won't do it. I know she's not going to get that done. Are you that person they know and, and doesn't even bother you? It should bother you if people think of you as someone who won't complete the job. Because one of these days, you're going to ask that person, 
to recommend you to someone, to help you get somewhere. And if that's always in the back of their mind that you never finish the job, why would they want to recommend you? Why is it that you are thought of that way? Why are you the procrastinator? This is why I wrote that book. Now, here's the question I need to ask you all. Are you tired of reading books that don't get you to take any action? Are you tired of reading books that just make you say, okay, that's a nice read, you know, good information. I can really use those quotes, <laughs> you know. Are, are, are those the books that you're reading? Are you ready to take action in a book? As a matter of fact, if you are ready, say, take action in the feed. Type in take action. I want you to type that in now. Now, have you ever asked yourself, why aren't I successful? Why didn't I win? Why didn't I move up? Why didn't they pick me? Why aren't I successful? Are you the person that's always asking yourself that question? Is that you? Well, it's, if it's you, you need to read that book because it still boils down to you're not getting things done. You have to complete the task in front of you. You have to be known as that person that completes the task in front of you. I take pride in being that person that when I say I'm going to do something, most people around me know it's done. They know it's done. If I don't think I can do it, I'll tell them right, out, right away, I don't think I can do that. But if I am given a task and I say I'm going to do it, I do it. You need to be known as that type of person. So my last question is this. Is this if this book could show you the way, would you read it? If this book could show you how you can start getting things done, would you read it? If the answer is yes, type in I would read it. Type in I would read it. That's what I want you to type in if that is you. Type that into the feed. Now, in writing this book, I, you know, I did some research and I looked at what some other people had found as well as one of the things that stuck out to me was this study here by Dr. Patrick Matthew. It says, what stops you from choosing the life you want? He interviewed a lot of people and he tallied up the responses. Well, it says here that 51.3% of the people say that it's not enough money. That's why they didn't choose the life that they wanted because they didn't have the money. Well, I think many of you know that that's probably not true because people seem to get money for the things they really, really want. Have you ever been in a situation to where it was something that you really wanted and you busted your butt and you found a way, you scraped and you got the things, that, the money that you needed to get the things done? Yeah, you really wanted it. So money isn't always the issue to get things done. And there's other ways to get around doing certain things if you know how. Here's another thing. I'm not clear on what I actually want. I think that's a big one. A lot of people are not clear and concise on what they want. I always tell people, if you want to know what you really want to do, especially when it comes to being an entrepreneur, you need to find out what your passion is. What is it that you would do for free? What is it that you just love so much that you would do it for free? Now, I'm not saying you should do it for free, but if that's something that you're so passionate about that you enjoy, that's the thing that you should be clear about wanting to do. The next one, difficulty committing and taking action. Difficulty committing and taking action. Now, the biggest thing with that one is, and we have a program at E2E Systems to help you with this, is that people don't have anyone a lot of times to hold them accountable. If someone is holding you accountable and there are consequences for, for those people that don't take action, you'll find yourself taking action more. I mean, that goes back to childhood. You know, you don't do your homework, there's a consequence for it. Someone's holding you accountable for doing that. Well, somewhere we get away from that. It's time to get you back. Now, fear of failure is another one. Fear of failure is probably one of the biggest ones. And the thing is, you have to change your perspective. We have all 
gone to achieve something and not quite hit the mark on our first try. Well, that just means you got to go do it again. That's all it is. It's not a failure. It just means you didn't get to the level where you wanted. It's a learning experience. You have to learn from it. Here's another one. Not enough time. Well, there are 24 hours in a day. You just have to learn how to manage your time. You see a lot of us out there feel we just don't have time. We do this, we do that. I think any parent out there knows that you can do a lot in 24 hours, especially mothers. You guys do a whole lot in a 24-hour period. Then we move on to fear of success. Hmm. I think this one, it says 15%, but I think it should be higher than it is. Fear of success is one of the things that plague a lot of people because we think things out too much. We think, well, what if this happens and I don't know how to handle all the success that comes my way? All this money, all these people are going to want something from me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold your horses. You ain't there yet. <laughs> You're not there yet. Worry about that problem when it comes. And I guarantee if you work to get to that level and you work really hard and you start seeing the success, usually success doesn't come, bam, you hit with a lot of success. It comes gradually and you, you grow into it. When you're growing into it, you also grow with the knowledge of how to handle success. So don't be afraid of that. Now, lack of support from others. I love this one because I was talking to a friend of mine recently who is an entrepreneur. Uh, he has a business where he actually in invented something, and he wanted to quit his job. Now, he is an engineer by trade. He also was married to a, a lawyer. They have kids in college and so forth, and he wanted to leave his job for his, his business and his invention. Well, I think you can imagine what his wife was saying to that. She didn't want him to do that, but he said, and this is what he told me, it's his dream. He can't expect her to see his dream. It's his dream. So he knew that he had to make things happen and let her see the results. Well, what has happened is it's become successful to the point where he's had to get bigger facilities, hire a staff of people. Now his business is, now don't get me wrong, he's working, but it's running at a, at a level that his wife has to respect it, and she supports him with it. So don't worry about support from others. You create that support. The last one here, limits placed on me by others. Now, I certainly dismiss this one because... Limits are never placed on you by others. The limits are only placed on you by yourself because you are the one who can dictate what happens and what doesn't happen, only you. Now, if you think that you suffer from any of these issues, any of these problems, I urge you to get the book, Why Didn't You Get It Done? And I'll tell you how you can get it in a little while. You need to get the book. You need to read the book. You need to tell others to read the book. I've had other people read this book and tell me how it helped them to change their lives, their situations, and to make them do things. I've had people read the first chapter and tell them it made their whole day change just from reading the first chapter. You need to get the book. Now, does entrepreneur, entrepreneurship scare you? You see, a lot of you out there want to be entrepreneurs. You say you want to be entrepreneurs. You tell everyone else. I want to leave my job. I want to start my own business. Some of you have even started your business and then uh, it stops. Well, you need to change that. You need to get it back in gear and put the pedal down and go. You see, the thing is about being an entrepreneur, you can't go halfway. That doesn't mean you can't start part-time, but you can't go halfway doing it because you're scared. Don't go part-time because you're scared. Go part-time because you're smart until you get things going and you're planning on leaving your job. But don't go scared. As it says here, a graveyard for a dreamer. You see all those cubicles? How many of you work in a situation that looks like that where you got, got a bunch of cubicles around you? As a matter of fact, if that's you, type in cubicle jail. Type in cubicle jail because that's what you're in. You're in a jail surrounded by cubicles. Well, at E2E Systems, we want to help you to get out of that. We want to help you to start moving in the right direction of entrepreneurship because you can't be scared. 
You can't make scared money. You, you got to you got to get out there and make things happen on your own. So let us help you at E2E Systems to take action. That's right. Take action. You're going to have to get up off of your butt right now and take action. You see that drill sergeant? That's how we're going to do it. We're going to make sure you take action. We're going to hold you accountable. We're going to hold your hand, but we're going to hold your hand and pull you right to where you need to be. You need to let us take you where you need to go. If you can't do it yourself, you need to let us take you where you need to go. So it's time for time checkup. What does that mean? You need to make sure that your time is being used in a capacity that's going to help you to grow. If you are spending most of your time socializing with your friends on the phone, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, guess what? Your business is not growing. Do I have a Facebook account? Yes, I do. Do I have a fan page? Yes, I do. Do I use Facebook to mostly socialize? No, I don't. I use socialize, I mean Facebook to, to do business. I use Twitter to do business. I use all these things for business. Do I use my phone to socialize a lot? Not a lot. I'm usually on my phone talking business because I know that I need to get things in place so that I don't have to work for 40 years like a lot of people out there. I don't want to live the rut of life, so I need to make sure my time is used in a way that will benefit me so that I can benefit others. How is your time being used? I want you to type into the feed time checkup. Time check up because you need a time check up. You need to make sure that you get examined to make sure that your time is being used wisely. That's what we do at E2E Systems. We probe you to make sure that all of your time is being used well. I call myself the time doctor sometimes because we are going to make sure that your time is used to its full capacity. Now, we have three action based coaching programs at E2E Systems designed to help you become successful. All of them are designed to take to make you become successful, but they're for people at different levels in their business. So one of them is what we call the Tactics Program. Tactics stands for Take Action Coaching to Ensure Collective Success. Take Action Coaching to Ensure Collective Success. Tactics is designed for people who want accountability, but they want it in a group setting, which means what we're going to do is we're going to, it's a group setting, group coaching program, and it can be virtually or in person. What we're going to do is assign you an accountability partner. That partner is going to make sure you're successful. You're going to make sure they're successful. You're going to hold on to each other to make sure that you both get things going. That's the tactics program. It's a great program. We created it at E2E Systems, and I think you'd love it. Next is the Genesis program. Genesis stands for Getting Each New Entrepreneur, Entrepreneur Started Initiates Success. We need to get you started. It's a one-on-one -on -one coaching program that helps every new entrepreneur become successful. We meet you where you are, and we help you to get to where you need to be as a successful entrepreneur. Then, we have the BOSS program. BOSS stands for Business Owner Success System. The BOSS program is a very unique coaching program. It has a 10-point success plan. What's so unique about it? Well, the BOSS program actually helps you to build a team of people to help your business become successful. What do I mean by that? Well, everybody in business needs an accountant. You need someone to help you with legal matters. You need someone to help you with marketing, branding, strategy, communicating with people. Well, that's what the boss system does. Boss system does that. It gets you in touch with people where you're going to be able to be coached by these people who will help put you in a position of success for your business. You actually have a team of people that we're going to help you to get in place for your business. Isn't that wonderful? I think it is. I think everyone would love that. Now, would you like for us to do a probe for you? What we're going to do is offer you today a free probe. That's right. You're going to get a probe for your business. 
I want you to dial in, I text the word, actually, text the word probe to 929 244 4323. That's 929 244 4323. Or that's 4E2E. -E. What that probe is going to do, it's going to, it's going to tell you how you're spending your time, and then we're going to let you know what you need to do to change that. Now, if you are one of those people who doesn't want to change, don't text that word probe in. If you want to change, text the word probe to 929-244-4323, and we are going to help you change at E2E Systems to make sure your business is a success and to make sure you are a success. So if you want your personal productivity probe, make sure you text that word in. So how do you get in touch with us at E2E Systems? Well, you can call us 877-443-4477. That's 877-443-4477. As it says here, get started now. Don't procrastinate. Don't ask yourself, why didn't I get it done? I don't want to have to ask you, why didn't you get it done? You need to get started now. We can help you to do that. That's our job here at E2E Systems, to help you get those things done. We want to help you. You have to want to move. You have to have that burning desire. You have to want to move into success. You have to want to take that success and make it into significance. Can you do that? Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to change? We can help you to do that. You have to get up off your assets and say, you know what? I'm tired of being where I am. As a matter of fact, I want you to type into the feed right now, I'm tired. Type in, I'm tired. If that's you, if you're someone who's ready to change, type in, I'm tired. Because that's the only way you're going to change. You have to be sick and tired of being sick and tired. If you're not at that level yet, you're going to stay where you are. You're going to stay in what I call the rut of life. What's the rut of life? I'm going to tell you what the rut of life is. How many of you get up every morning when it's still dark outside? See, I, I personally, I believe that the devil it created alarm clocks because I get up when God wants me to get up. You get up when it's still dark outside. You can't see where you're going because you, you that alarm clock gets you up when it's dark. You scramble around to turn it off. Then you go into the kitchen. You drink your morning cup of nerves, that caffeine. Get it in your system. You go out and, and start your car up. And God knows you hope it's not wintertime because you don't have to start it up and run back inside to try to get warm again, hoping the car will warm up. Then you run back outside and go chase taillights. You chase taillights down the, down the street sucking in exhaust fumes so you can go work at a place that you can't stand. You work with a bunch of people that you can't stand. You wouldn't even invite them to your house. You don't even call them friends, even though you act friendly with them because you can't stand being with them, but you're being fake just to keep your job. You do that where someone is telling you when you can go home, when you can take lunch, when you can take breaks. Some of you, when you can go to the bathroom. But you do that. Then, guess what? When the day is done, you go chase taillights again. And what do you know? When you get home, it's dark again. So you missed all the daylight hours at a place that you don't even want to be. How do you like that? Then you go home, you have an attitude because you're spending that day at a place you don't want to be, and your family sees it, and you take it out on them. You take it out on them. The kids didn't do anything to you. Your spouse didn't do anything to you, but you take it out on them. And you do this over and over. Again, not the next day, not the next week, not the next month, but you do this for 30 to 40 years. That, to me, is the rut of life. Are you going to stay in the rut of life? Type into the feed, no rut of life. No rut of life. That's what I want you to type into the feed right now if you're ready to change your life. So if you're ready to change, you can go to e2esystems.com. That's www.e, the letter E, the number two, the letter E, systems.com. If you want to email us at info at e2esystems.com or you can check us out on Facebook at E2E Systems or on Twitter at E2E Systems as well. We want to make sure that you guys get things going. So if you're ready, I want you to take action and come check us out. 
I'm Barrett Matthews of E2E Systems, and once again, take action.